This is going to be the second video in our series of how to search the online catalog. You're going to again open your browser, type in yorklibraries.org. I'm going to go through this a little more quickly at the beginning this time, so if you need to pause the video, that's fine. Once you're at the home page of York County Libraries, you go to Books and Media, Getting Started, Search the Catalog. From here, we're going to do a search again. Uh, this time I'm going to choose an author search just to show you the difference between title and author. So I'm going to click down here to author. Last time we did keyword, we'll do title another time. It's still running, so I have to be careful not to click too often. I can see that it's running because I have my spinning circle in the top right hand corner. Now I'm on author and I want to type in James Patterson. And this time I want to just limit it to the lower school library. And I want to make sure my format is books. Again, setting it to search and keeping an eye on where my Chrome browser tells me that it's working, which in this case is up here in the spinning circle, because I don't want to get ahead of it and confuse it. Now it looks like we it flipped, so we have some results. And as you scroll through, you will see that we have 23 results on three pages. For the author of James Patterson, here are some special topics for his books and the different genre and series. So let's say I just want to check on the middle school series that he has. So I would click that one. This is a little more advanced. You don't ever need to use this. You can certainly scroll through your search results just to see. James Patterson's books as they were originally showing up with the 23 results. But I thought it might be fun if you knew how to use some of the parts of the left hand side navigation screen too. So now we only have six results because we're concentrating just on middle school series by James Patterson. Notice our search results have the book cover. And once it's finished, it flips again, the book cover. If it was reviewed, how many stars it averaged out to, the title, the author's name, which turns into a link and tells you you can perform an author search, which is actually what we did. His year of birth, it would be his year of death there too, if needed. The book and the year it was published, whether it was popular or not, the call number, that's extremely important because that tells you where to find it on the bookshelves. Whether there is a copy available at the school the library that I searched, remember in my search term, I just had York Academy Regional Charter School Lower School. So those are going to show up first, but we also have 10 copies available out of 12 total in, at the entire York County library system. If I want to specifically look at a specific book, then I click into either the cover or the title, both are links. Again, I wait. I'm going to get some of the same information that we see on this first page, but I'm going to also get a lot more, some of which you will need right now, some of which you will need in the coming years as you do searches when you're doing research. So again, we have the title, the author link, his year of birth, an added author, if there is more than one author, and the illustrator. Sometimes that might be important to you, especially if you're really into the art, the art part of it. Again, the reviews, it, what's available, other formats or editions, just in case you happen to want to um, use your Hoopla or Access 360 app at home for it. And the important part is the location, the call number, and the fact that it's available. If it were checked out, it would say checked out and tell you when it was due. The record details will be important as you get into doing research and creating citations, which is how people understand what sources that you used. For example, the publisher and the copyright year will be extremely important. The physical description is also important if you have a limit to the number of pages. Let's say your teacher says you must read a novel of at least 100 pages. You would want to check that before you'd go to the bookshelf and check the book out. We'll take another look at results in a different way in the next video.